Hey, Salaki, for the interruption, man. I had a, I had a uh, call. But um, <clears throat> as I was going into, we said, um, yeah, so basically we are we are commanded to warn our people, you know, because if, if we don't say nothing, then, hey, we held accountable, you know, just as well as you are, you know. This is um, going back to Ezekiel 3 and on up at 1. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat, thou, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was my mouth a sweet for hun a honey for sweetness. And he said, I said unto me, Son of man, go get thee to the house of Israel. And speak my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but unto the house of Israel. So we spent, we are sent to you people that, you understand us, man. Not of a strange speech nor of a hard language. It says, not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language who, whose words thou cannot understand. Surely had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. So and this is why you're gonna have a two-thirds, because they won't hearken, they won't even hearken unto Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. So they're not gonna they're not even gonna listen to the prophets, man. You know? But they're gonna wish they had to listen when it's too late. You know? When it's too damn late, man. But we know we know Jake is hard headed and stiff necked, man. You know? It says, um, It says, but the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me, for all the house of Israel are impudent and hard hearted. You know, so they they, they stubborn, hard headed as, as children, man. You know? They not they're not gonna listen. Let's go back to Ezekiel 2 and go down. <clears throat> Ezekiel 2 and um again in verse 4. Let's start at um let's start at 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, we can start at one. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and he set me upon my feet, that I heard him. That spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me, for they and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. Even unto this very day, man. It says, For they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord Power. Thus said Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, thus said Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and they whether they will hear, whether they will forbear again, for they were not, for they are rebellious house. Yet shall they know that there have been a prophet among them, and they're gonna seek the prophets. You know, they're gonna try to seek the prophets when it's too late, man. When it's too late. You know, because Yahweh Shem Yahushai said he gonna send a famine, man. Hey, let me get that. Let me grab that real quick. <clears throat> Slacky. Where is that? Okay, here it is. This is the book of Amos. Let's get it in the, in the blue letter. Amos 8 and verse 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Yahweh. It says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east, they shall run to the 
to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. You know, you're not going to be able to find it. You're not, you're not going to be able to seek. You're not going to be able to find it, though you're seeking for it, man. Why? Because the time is now. You know? You know? Doors of mercy are going to be closed, man. And you're just going to be left out there, man. Scripture say that he going to send a famine of the word. So that's why I say now, say seek. Seek the Lord. While he may be found. That's uh. Is Isaiah 55 <clears throat> Isaiah 55 and verse 6 <clears throat> Seek ye the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai While he may be found Call ye upon him while he is near let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord Yahabashim Yahusha and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. You know, and if you, and if you don't seek Yahabashim Yahusha now and seeking that mercy, Lord willing that, you know, that Yahabashim uh, uh Lord willing that we obtain mercy. The doors of mercy are going to be closed on you. You're going to be on the outside, man. You're not going to be under that, 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 that hedge, man. You're not going to be under that protection. You know? It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and your thoughts than my, than my thoughts than your thoughts. This is all. Uh, let's read it in the NLT. It says, um, seek ye the Lord, verse 6, 55 and 6, seek ye the Lord while you can find him. Call on him now while he is near. Why, why you got the man out here telling you what the name of the Lord is? You know, you got him out here telling you what the name of the Lord is, but you got all these other people telling you something different. You know? But whoever the Lord, whoever the Lord wants, hey, they're going to call upon him, man. It says, <clears throat> Let the wicked change their ways and banish in, in the very thought of doing wrong. And banish the very thought of doing wrong. Let them turn to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. Yes, turn to our God, for he will forgive generously. My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, said the Lord. And my ways are far beyond anything you can imagine. You know? So... And, and you don't even know the judgments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shad. You two thirds, man. You know, hey, so this this word is really for the elect. You know, it's for two thirds to know. You know, it, hey, to know that it came across your ears. You know, but you 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 rejected it. You rejected it. You rejected knowledge, man. You despise wisdom and instruction. Hosea four and six. Hear the word in my mouth. Verse 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. He said, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget, I will also forget thy children. Destroy for the lack of knowledge. Because you reject knowledge, you will be rejected, man. You know? This is um Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass in the day that all the people, it's like, and that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts of the earth shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. That one, that elect, that one third, and I will bring that third part through the fire, and I will refine them as fire, as, uh, and I will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. And they shall call upon my name. And I will hear them. And I will say, it is my people. 
and they will say, The Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, is my power. You know? So, hey, Lord willing, we part of that number, man. That's calling upon your name, Yahweh Shem El Shai, and he, he, and he have mercy upon us, man. You know? Because we're we looking for, well, willing that reward, man. The reward of the righteous. We don't want to suffer the reward of the wicked, man. You know, which is going to be ultimately destruction. Going to be brought to your end. So with that being said, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles, it was a great millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. Call me Asha Allah. Bob Bob. Shalom.